Okay. Let's say that you want to rap or you are a rapper, but you seem to not have uh, the computer ability for some reason. You think you don't have the ability to work this program or a computer or anything. All you need, man, is a mic. Microphone. You see what I'm saying? Some type of good microphone. A nice mixer and just a regular desktop computer. I know you want those Macs, that's fine, but PC will do the same thing. Laptop will do real, real good. Today's subject Adobe Audition CS6. This is the, a recording studio. I mean, it just all you do is you get the materials that you need, which is a mixer, a mic, get the hookups to go to the computer. And things are a dollar at the dollar store somewhere. Easy to find. The hookups are. the You probably will pay like anywhere from 30 to to $100 for a nice little, you know, get your foot in the door mixer. You don't need all that fancy crap. You don't need all that. I'm talking about if you want to put music out. You don't. Just, just check me out. So basically right here, um, I just got through recording a verse, okay? Uh, I'll reveal the, the, the verse to the beat later because I had, you know, mixed it together and things like that. So anyway, it says Adobe Edition over here in the corner. Damn it. I'm dropping stuff. Oh, hold on a second. I'm dropping shit. Adobe Edition. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the multi, multi-track session, which is this. But right now I'm in just a waveform. So I'm showing myself... Uh, what I mix down, okay? I'll try to I'll try to show you how I do this because I did not spit this all the way across. I don't write music. I don't write nothing down. I freestyle four bars, stop four more bars. That's eight bars in all. Go sixteen or go however many that I feel like going until I want to make a chorus. Now I piece this song together. I'll prove that to you and everything. In, in a minute but right now we just want to focus on okay you got everything wrapped regardless of if you stop and go or you just went all in one take that's fine you good whatever okay so you notice you got background noise you got people talking in the background you don't want that to start with you want to be by yourself or you want to have everybody quiet while you do your thing okay first and foremost the cats and the kids and the dogs and the the fan, hmm, that's iffy on the fan. But everything else got to be quiet, okay? So, you got the verse down like this. You mixed it down. You're ready to do what most of you don't do. And this is uh, a producer's uh, secret that I'm giving you right here. Or engineer. And you don't have to have all that fancy crap to do this. This is a flat screen TV that I'm... Um, you know, just broadcasting everything on so you can see everything a little bit better. Here we go. So right now I got this nasty hiss. Hear those pops and shit coming from this file in there? Shout out to me because I've been... And then, you know, whatever, right? So... Go over here to where it says effects... Then we're going to go down to noise reduction. Then we're going to go over to capture noise print. Okay. Then we'll go back up into effects. <laughs> Excuse me. Noise reduction. Production, I mean reproduction. Excuse me. <clears throat> Damn sneeze felt so good. Okay, so when you get here, you're gonna capture your noise print again. That's twice you're gonna capture. This time you're gonna click apply. Don't mess with nothing else. You're good. So you notice it took all that away, and I'll play that again. Let me bag the red marker up. Put it a little bit closer. You should hear nothing. 
and then I should just come in. Sure. But see, I got that breath and stuff. <clears throat> so what you want to do now, you want to go from where you started. Click click right where you started at. See, I got the little cursor. So you're going to click right here, and then click again, and hold it, and highlight the whole damn thing to the end. See that dirty shit? <clears throat> now this is the deal. You're going to go back over to effects. Down to noise restoration, noise reduction process. Okay? This time, don't mess with nothing. All you're going to do is you're going to press apply. I don't even know if I had that on the screen or something. It's going to do its thing. See, okay? Now you notice that back here, the air and stuff is going to be taken all the way out. So then you get this. You get this. What you this is what you get left over. Shout out to me, cause I've been living in subordinate. It takes that and gives you a smooth waveform, and that's what you want to see. Okay. So to get this, to get this, what we need this to be, because it's not like that. I'm, I'm gonna prove all this to you. So what you're gonna do is go to uh, edit, I believe, insert into multi-track session and it's going to be that one which is thought I knew <laughs> okay okay check this out boom there's the the good stuff right here okay now this is the verse see that it's the beat is muted up here now when you when you're recording you don't want to have your beat in the uh, microphone. So get you some headphones, get you uh, some wired headphones, wireless, Bluetooth, whatever you do. Turn the music just enough where you can hear it, but it's not blaring out of the speakers. That way the, the beat won't have any feedback. That's really, really important to get a good, crisp vocal out. So, anyway, um, let me show you. Let me mute this first. So you just you just go here and you click this for mute. This is solo and that's record. So if I wanted to record on this, I can just click this and it's ready to go to record. But right now we just want to mute it. Okay. And I'm just going to show you. This is the raw, still nasty. You know, you can see it. You see all that popping and breathing and but you hear no beat and stuff in this. Shout out to me. That's what you really want. So, I'm going to just, like, this is all I do. I delete this. Or I could have just made a new one, but I just want to delete this because it's quicker. I'm going to move this up. You might have to hit move here, but that's okay. Move it up. Okay. Now look, this is the beat, okay? And you see it's chopped up up there. I could actually mix this down and call it what I want to call it. But let me prove that to you. Let me mute. These are what uh, I do like. Uh, I'll just show you. Because when I, when I explain it, it'll... Without showing you, you may not get it. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm moving something around so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, these two right here, they represent <clears throat> four bars. You know, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, and four. Or so, you know, something like that. Um this one is the, the verse. This one is the verse. This is ad lib. See it's choppy, choppy, chop, chop. So we're just gonna delete these two because I just wanna show you the the four bar. I'm living a good life. 
You know what I'm saying? And this is the I'm living the good life part, and this is just the good life. Yeah. Uh, uh. Something like that. And when you do that, the regular one should be on zero. The verse verse. And your ad lib, bring it down like one or two, depending on how loud you are on there. And you'll get you a good crisp uh, sound out of it. It's an ambient. You kind of want that because it, the listener notices things like that. Instead of just a bunch of shit all in your ear and distortion. You don't want all that, okay? So let's make sure I got everything out because sometimes I have surprises down here and they start you out with six tracks but you can add extra tracks but I mean don't get to messing with knobs and shit you don't have to do that only thing you're really going to do is just get this program download it crack it use it if I want to record right now I hit the red button on track number three it's zeroed out it's ready to go all I do is come down here and hit the red button. I'm recording. I'm, I'm, I'm recording. So, it ain't going to have nothing there because I actually got the mic turned off. But you just unrecord it so you make sure you're not doing nothing. And this is what you got left. Okay? This is chorus and a little bit of the, somewhat of a beat that mixed in there. I sampled it. And uh, this is the beat that I made with the sample, chorus, sample, beat, you know what I'm saying, chorus, beat, yeah. so forth. So, check me out. Shut up. Ooh. I'm going to turn it down some so it won't be so loud so I can play, play it. And that's the chorus. All built in. There's that verse we cleaned up. Phase out. Next verse comes in. When the beat come back in, it should be another rapper or either my second verse if I choose. pretty much it but I mean it, it, it would have sounded like pure trash because it had trash in the recording and there's actually really either get you a good mic but you're still going to get some trash that the mic will pick up regardless and this is how you get it out this this I recommend doing this on every track every you know every verse that you do don't do it to the whole don't do it to the beat up here just do it to the verses see you got to mute the beat and just get all that you see how i had earlier that was stacked up well that stacked up shit made this whole verse i didn't spit this whole verse and waste my breath like that 
this is this is the beauty of recording like that. Stop and go recording is what that's called. That's all I'm trying to show you. You don't have to be spending time writing. This didn't even take an hour to do. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't spend an hour spitting that verse. You just go, you know, go back, piece that junk together, say some more. Make sure you have a, a rhyme scheme going. And change it up every four, I mean, every eight bar, change it up to some a different one. So you get your 16 out of your 13 or your 14, or whatever you got going on. So you get to that chorus, you're good. I mean, I can just go a cappella with it too. Shout out to me, cause I've been living in subordinate. Haters and feds clocking my last coordinates. Trying to get off of these G packs. Pray so much, I'm gonna need me some knee pads. Hoes be like, ooh, girl, did you see, man? And I be like, nah, nah, you ain't seen Jack. Unless it's blueberry guts with the roof in the back. Rims, smash the paint in the paint, dripping black and fat. I'm living a good life. I told you motherfuckers, man, it ain't what it look like. Your nigga got them hands raised right when it hook right. Nobody fuck with anything you sell, cause that just won't look right. Not good, not Cause we all got the cash and we making the dash. Don't throw your mask in the trash, my nigga. And if they try to harass my nigga, we coming 50 deep to make that your last, my nigga. I'll be better when you're not with me. They don't know you're not with me. I'll be better when you're not with me. I'll be better when you're not with me. Hard. That's all I can tell you, Ray. I'll just be messing around. Um, this is actually be that video to show y'all I'm still doing me, man. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, 357 Guns. I am back. Look for me. One.